Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing Portugal. This is our achievement run. And we are very close to an achievement called Five Colonies. We just need one more colony, and we'll be there. Excuse me. So we have options, like we could do Colombia. We could do Mexico. I think Mexico is a good one. We could do Louisiana. Uh, or we could do down here, La Plata. They're all good. There's also Peru. Oops, this one, this one. Bingo. Yeah, Colombia, Guyana, Peru, La Plata, Mexico, and Louisiana. Those are the ones we haven't done yet. There's also Alaska and California, but these are the ones that we can see. And it doesn't really matter which ones we do. So last episode, we pieced out with Aragon, where we fed Castile quite a bit. And we also took a little bit for us. And the reason here is we want to release Naples. So we're going to be doing that. But I think we're going to annex these vassals before we do that. The problem is war exhaustion makes the vassals annex more slowly. And our zero diplomatic reputation makes the vassals annex more slowly as well. It's kind of sad. I really wish was a, there was a statesman that we could afford over here, but there's not. That level three statesman is out of our price range. Uh, let me kill these mercs. Yeah, mercs are expensive. Where else do we have mercs? Gone. We can afford regular troops. There's no need for mercs. We already brought these t these folks home, yes. And this guy's working... Wow, he's got two missionaries. He's working very hard to convert these. They're almost done, actually. Yeah, look at that. Wow, look how fast he converts. Look at that. 5.4% per month. That's crazy fast. And he's done. Holy shit, he's done. Wow. Good job, colony. Alright, pick up these idiots. And uh, let's go save... Palermo. Okay, so we're annexing Guienne and Scotland. Scotland, uh, it's kind of good to see them go. They haven't been that helpful. Guienne, on the other hand, has been very helpful. And I'm actually kind of sad to see him go. But what can you do? You know, they, <laughs> you, your kids have to grow up sometime, right? They just have to. We're topping off relations with Austria because we want them to keep liking us. We're at plus 95. Yeah, we get a little better than that. And we have to kind of decide what our fifth colony should be. We already have two here in La Plata, so that probably makes sense. Oh, is, is our colony attacking the natives? Because it looks like they are. Oh, yeah, look at this. The Big Green Crusade against Susquehannock. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I like that. I wish Labrador would do that on Abenaki. Look at this guy. This guy's taking matters into his own hands. This is great. Oh, I approve. I approve. None of my colonies are colonizing on their own yet. Uh, but at least they're doing something, right? Oh shit, Neapolitan Nationalists. I need to release Naples before these guys succeed, because it looks like they will succeed. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, just release Naples. Fuck it, I guess. Okay, so Naples has cores all over here. So freaking useful. Do these guys just disappear then? Yep, gone. Whatever. You know what? I am going to go for these guys. It looks like we have a little bit of spare points, so yeah, we'll try for both. I don't know if that's going to work, but whatever. Alright, so let's get you guys back on the boat. 
you all fit. Very good. And come over here. Actually, don't do that. Come up here. Yeah, protect this place. Yeah. And I think we'll take these guys to the New World to protect our colony over here because he's got uh, revolt risk. 3%. Actually, it's only 0 0.2. That's not bad. 7%. Yeah, we need to go drop some troops off in Guadalupe. I don't want anything to flip back to England. That's for damn sure. And it might make sense to go to war with England right now just to prevent this colony from finishing. That might make sense. He still only has Hungary as his ally. Well... Ugh. More, I mean, we kind of wanted to be at peace. We could annex people and blah, blah, blah. War exhaustion go down. Blah, blah, blah. This and that. There were reasons to be at peace, right? And yet here we are with our thumbs up our butts. And England is completing yet another colony in the Caribbean. Once he finishes this, he'll be able to colonize down here in South America again. Or wherever the hell else he wants to colonize, right? Hmm... Marriage from Naples, no. You're my vassal, not my wife. Okay, we're done with Austria. He's super happy. Good. 185, that's pretty nice, yeah. We have a lot of mutual interests, even though we're different religions. And we don't border each other, that's a big help as well. I mean, I'd be so tempted just to go peacefully vassalize all these idiots right now. That's just a bad idea. When's our truce up with Aragon? Maybe that's what I should be doing. Two years. So maybe we'll just stay at peace for two years. Go back to war with Aragon, who is weak. Uh, feed our vassal Naples. Just get that out of the way. Feed them as much as we can. And give these last two provinces to our vassal Castile, annex Castile, and then we won't be we'll be over our limit. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Just wait on England. One colony is not gonna I mean one one province is not gonna bother us. That achievement is not very far away. Uh, I do want to wait for Denmark to lose his unions though. If he would lose his unions, we'd be so set. Just go and attack Norway like tomorrow. What are these? Peasants. Eh, peasants, whatever. I guess we can get relations up with Castile. That can't hurt. That's got to suck for England. He's just losing war after war after war. What are these? <laughs> Noble rebels. And our truce is up with Wales, so we kind of have to decide. Do we want to peacefully vassalize Wales? It'll put us four over our limit, which would suck so many balls. But if we don't do it, England's just going to go annex him. Susquehannock will become a protectorate. Really? Why not just annex him? Do you have any claims anywhere? No, he's not making any claims anywhere. Why you do a holy war if you if you didn't even convert him? And he declared a holy war, and he didn't even convert him or anything. He just doesn't even take the land. He's like, nah. Very odd. And what's Norway doing? He finished his colony. Let's take a look. What's Norway doing? He is down here? No. Norway. Ah, right there. There he is. Hello, Norway. Yep. Okay. It's fine, really. Tortuga's done. Great. 
Was that a colonist? It was. Finish up Cuba. So we'll let England finish that colony. It's not the end of the world. It's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, we're almost done with this. As soon as we're done converting this, I think we'll take these troops. Oh, shit. Our heir just died. Fuck. And our king is now 50 years old. But we might get Austria's dynasty. If we get Austria's dynasty, oh, man, can you believe that? Lose prestige or lose stability? I'll lose the prestige. Oh, we already have an heir. 615. Why? We lost an heir that had four diplomacy. We gain an heir that has one diplomacy. God damn it. Why do... Why do how, our previous king had zero. Our current king has three. Three's okay. Zero, not okay. Our next heir, one. Not okay. We need some king with diplomacy. We need like five or six diplomacy. Our heir had four. I was okay with that. One, I'm not okay with that. Okay, Grenada has finished converting. Fantastic. Super happy that Grenada has converted. Uh, that actually really does help out quite a bit. So let's take these troops and split in half. Let's go. We're going to go uh, sit down here on these islands until they're done converting. You can see they're all being cored or converted or whatever. Yep, they're culturally converting them right now. Yep, the cores are finished. So if we check the accepted cultures map, you can see they're all orange. Meaning he's converting all of them to Portuguese culture. I approve. Actually, it looks like the revolt risk is zero. Except this one. You know what? I think we're okay then. We don't need the troops. We are okay. Well, that's awfully interesting. So he finished, he finished all the religious conversion. There's no more Protestantism. And now he's doing culture conversion on all of them. That is very good. All right, then. Why don't we focus here on Europe? How is our war exhaustion? Not bad. Still going down. 22 months, it'll be gone. Okay. Is there a statesman available? There is, but he's so expensive. Oh, god damn, is that expensive. We're doing it. Oh, what's this? Pass the Liquor Act. National tax goes up, but stability cost goes up. Nope. Okay, so this is kind of bad, kind of good. It's bad because it's expensive. But it's good because it gives us some more Diplo points, which we want. And it'll annex vassals faster, which is just so useful. You know, it cuts 15 years off of the annexation time. That's amazing. Okay, so if we're going to run with a level 3... We're going to have to make sure we have all of our ships patrolling everything that's possible. Let's work on running some more trade down to the Seville node from over here. Can I steal some of you guys? Yeah, let me steal some of you guys. Patrol Genoa. And how is this trade doing? How are we doing on the Sev Sevilla node? We're pretty good. We've got 77%. I think we can afford to split some guys off. Let's try to steal as much as we can from Genoa. See if that improves our trade. Brittany wants some marriage. Nah. I don't need that marriage. 15 ducats. Is that going to change? Marriage from our vassal. Nah, we're, you're, you're being a next. We don't need a marriage. 15.57. What's going to say at the end of the month? Oh. Gain 200 pop in Band Oriental. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. 17. So it went up a bit. In fact, yeah, now we're making money. Okay, well, there you go. Smooth move, Shen. Smooth motherfucking move. But yeah, since we have four traders, we have one of them already in Genoa, so we might as well just put some ships over there to help out. Why not? Genoa. Genoa, Genoa, Genoa.
Now, how are we doing on the Genoa node? Uh, 13%, and that's all from ships. We don't have any, any uh, provinces on that node. But we are getting three ducats pushed forward. That's not bad. Core is almost done in Lancashire. Keep an eye on our vassals over here. No problems, no? Looks good so far. Are you cultural converting them? No, no, and no. So he's going to leave them English, apparently. I don't know why. It's only 25 points to culture convert at uh, level 1 base tax. But whatever, to each their own. Okay, colony arrived at Moron. Very good. Havana will be next, of course. Mutapa have accepted peace with Kilwa. All right, look at Mutapa go. We should go with next Mutapa. Why not? Uh, let's take 20 troops, 21 troops. Where's our general? Where's our motherfucking general? There he is. Dennis. Dennis. On the boat, Dennis. Let's stop off in Cape Colony. Go with next Mutapa. Why not? It'll give us something to do with our missionaries, right? Alright, colony done over here. Down here? Sure. We should have colonized right next to these guys. Oh, Tuscany joined Croatia in a war against Hungary. What's this about? Croatian conquest of Ragusa. Oh, let me see this war. England's in this war? Yeah, wow. Oh, fuck. Hungary, you're going to get ass raped. Wow. Anyone else get that feeling that Hungary's getting ass raped? That's kind of the feeling I get. Croatia wants access, huh? No. You want to keep them? You got it. You know, we could just up the tariffs. In fact, that's probably a good idea. Hmm. No, nah, we're still making four ducats. We're okay. No, no. You don't need access, everybody. You don't need it. Go away. We discovered Uruguay. What's the base tax? Six. Ooh, nice base tax. And now is that uh, La Plata or is that Brazil? That is La Plata. Okay. Good to know. Where's our damn ships? There they are. Domestic trade power minus 33. Ouch. It's only for two years, but still, that's bad. Oof. Okay, wait till the end of the month. There we go. Back to full health. Great. Back on the boat. Over here. Actually, uh, one of the achievements is to take Aden, Hormoz, and Malacca. We can't even see Malacca. But yeah, we have specific achievements to take these these certain provinces. Huh. How can we do this? He's allied with Tripoli, the Timurids, Funge, and Melindi. What about if we attack the Timurids? He's got a vassal. He's allied with Hedges and Sindh. That's probably a better option. So let's go attack the Timurids. Uh, we'll take that one province. And then we'll take Aden from Hedges. And that's it. Well, that's nice that they're allied to each other. But I don't have any CB. How can I get a CB on these guys? Hmm. How do we get a CB on these guys? We They're a horde, right? 
Oh yeah, so once we finish the expansion ideas, we'll have a CB on them. I guess we can wait. Alright, Mutapa. What's up, bro? I wonder if anyone's going to care that we're going to take all this stuff. Maybe. Alright, come back from Cat Steel. He's got no allies. There's no protector of the Sunni faith. You are Sunni, right? No, he's Animist. Lol. No protector of the Animist faith. So this should be a cakewalk. We're arriving on Christmas Day. Beautiful. So how many troops do you have? Eh, some. What's your tech? Eh, some. <laughs> we'll keep our ship there for a bit. Lancashire has cord. That is important. Uh, can we convert this? No, we cannot. That's just not going to happen. Okay, well, we can wait. Now, Mutapa is nice because he has gold mines. Ships are still holding up. Good, good. One, two, three gold mines. Nice. Oh, four. You can see this one's also gold. Four gold mines. Oh my god. Our inflation's gonna be through the fucking roof. Uh, why don't you just go dock up? You don't need the bonus to uh, sieging there. Sieging progress, whatever. Oh, England. Fucking England. Yep, of course he's going for the Falklands. He's going there from the Caribbean. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Still converting those, okay. You converting these? No. No, not converting. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised our colony did not just annex these guys. They're allied and a protectorate of them. Why not just annex them? Mm -mm. Whatever. <laughs> how's France's colony? Ah, it just started. And how's Norway's colony? Uh, about 10%. Oh man, these annexations are so fast. Now, oh, free stability. Yes, please. Thank you so much. That was nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Free stability. Still have our truce with Aragon. Damn it, leave him alone, Teutonic Order. He's mine. Mine! You cannot has. We might want to get an alliance with him, but he's currently fighting Austria. It looks like Austria's winning. No, he's not down here. Where's your troops? Maybe he doesn't have access? Yeah, he doesn't have access. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh well. How's Denmark's prestige doing? He's hanging in there just barely. Just barely. England has probably moved some troops out of here. This might be a good time to go beat him up. Maybe. But then again, you know, priorities, right? We'll go deal with England eventually. You're going to Masapa on the 22nd. Alright, well. What if I go this way? Oh, well, that changed your mind, don't it?
Damn it, leave my cardinals alone. They're all mine. You know they're mine. Stop being a douche. Want that? Or how close are we on tech? We are one year ahead. No, no, we're not going to do that. Burgundy's a noble republic. Well, that's interesting. The only thing that sucks about this is our uh, war exhaustion does not go down while we're at war. That sucks. Lost a claim on Aragon. Well, that's no good. Let's get a claim on Aragon. Let's go for... I don't know. Claim the province of Aragon. Sure. Claim Aragon. Bingo. You're a rival, right? No? Well, you are now. Dumbass. Found some more sugar. Sugar? Is this Scotland? I think Scotland just came to Africa. Scotland. He's like, I'm here. I'm helping. Oh, Scotland. You are one crazy son of a bitch, Scotland. were discovered fabricating claims on Scotland. Oh no. I mean not Scotland, on Aragon. Oh no. Doesn't matter. Ah, what's this? Blasphemy acts. Tolerance goes down, missionary strength goes up. Yes. I hate tolerance. Well, tolerance of the true faith is good, but tolerance of heretics and heathens, I don't like that. Okay, what do you offer me, boy? No, I don't want that. I don't want land. You crazy me? You crazy? Crazy, I say. I cut you. Let's go beat him up. Show him who's boss. Sup, bro? Sup, bro? Oh, uh, yeah. We're in the mountains across a river. Watch how much it matters. Didn't matter. <laughs> Did not matter. Wow, look at all the land we just discovered. Wow, cool. It's all wasteland, but we've discovered it. Alright, so we'll drop off you guys, everyone else. Get back. 48%. Okay, dock up. And Bourbon Colony is almost done. Savoy will give Savoy to France. Savoy will end the vassalization of Genoa. Really? <laughs> okay.
That was unexpected and weird. You want to keep it? You got it. Revolt. I don't care. Okay. <sighs> Running out of points. That's not good. Papal influence points. You need those things. They're important. Oh man, these viceroys, they're not living too long, are they? We demand we keep this old, decrepit fart. He died. Can you please send a replacement old, decrepit fart? Why, yes, we can. Oh, come on, give me a level one statesman, please. We have discovered the South Sandwich Islands. <gasps> yes, we have, except there's no islands there, but there is the Falklands, which we need to steal because... England should not be allowed to colonize that far south. That means they want to get around South America. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Zumbo, very good. Finish up that uh, claim, please. Greece is a noble republic. Okay, and bourbon's done. All right. Let's rip this guy out of Guantanamo. Yeah, rip him out. Let's continue heading this away. Now we could go to the Maldives, or we could go to Diego Garcia. Doesn't really matter which one we do. Let's do the Maldives. Doesn't matter. Uh, we should drop off a troop over there, though. Not that many. There you go. Two motherfuckers. Go into the Maldives. Ooh. National tax or 62 ducats? National tax. It's usually better than 62 ducats. Usually. Alright, we're done. Now we could just annex these fools. And it's not supposed to cause overextension, am I right? I don't think it's supposed to cause overextension because they're animist. Pretty sure if they're animist, it's not supposed to cause... Does anyone know for sure if it's supposed to cause overextension? Because these motherfuckers are animist. See? Animist. Let's take a look at what the peace deal says. No, it says it's going to be overextension. 88 overextension. Even though they're animist. Really? Really? Alright, well, we'll just make him a protectorate then. Not a problem, because that'll bring a ton of money our way. They're all gold. Done. You do the same thing to Killa and Melindy. They're all, uh, no, they're Sunni. Okay, well, they are sub Saharan. So I should still be able to do it to them, and a doll as well, just make them all protectorates. I don't know, we'll see. Alright, let's go drop these idiots off. Marry my vassal? No. Marry my vassal again? No! Stop it. Stop asking. All right, drop them off. Oh shit, I can't afford both. I have to choose one or the other. I'll go for two tons. Damn it. All right, let's get our ships back home. And I think it's time that we beat up Aragon. The hilarious thing is our vassals I think our vassals are strong enough to win this war for us. 
Austria is at peace. Truce with Hungary, England, Tidane, Equator, Provence. But not uh, Poland, right? Poland and Venice. You don't have a truce with Poland or Venice? No. Perfect. That means we can do this war. Good. And yeah, I think my vassals can do this fighting. Let me see how many troops he has. 23. Yeah, that's that's his whole army. So he has no troops over here. In other words, these guys can go nuts. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. I'll just let my vassals do it. Invasion by proxy. The best kind. He did tech up, though. What comes at tech 14, anyway? I mean, our vassals are pretty much there. But what comes at tech 14? We get new cav. Eh. Ooh, new idea group. Yes. Yes. Very nice. But I don't know what the hell I want. I kind of wanted another military idea. But we still haven't even finished quantity. Probably defensive or offensive. Or quality, because we have a lot of naval battles. Quantity and quality. How weird would that be? <laughs> yeah, let's declare. All right, Aragon, you're going down. Austria, you'll join, right? Yes, of course you will. I'm just going to let my vassals fight this one, because I don't think I really need to. Go vassals. Austria's in. Venice is in. Perfect. And my vassal is getting attacked in the mountains. And my vassal has a better general. This is perfect. Go vassal. Oh, he's losing, right? But they're both tech 14. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let's bring these troops home. Block the straight. Oh, Guillen. Oh, man. Yeah, he's in the mountains, but he's still winning. Aragon OP. Nerf Aragon today. Oh, really? We lost the naval battle. Ouch. Because his galleys are OP. That's okay. Here, just come dock up. Oh, they are. Okay. Here, group up. And let's build some replacement caravels. Because we lost some there. Not a problem. Oh, look, it's getting a lot closer. But I think Aragon's still going to win. The morale is just not there. Yeah, the Aragon's got it. Darn. <laughs> oh, well, they put on a good show, didn't Gian? Yeah. Jolly good. Oh, wow, they're fighting three versus ten? <laughs> that was kind of dumb. I assume next they're going to come after Castile's army? Don't know. Naples is doing their thing. Very good. I wish Naples the best. I want my vassals to do a lot of sieging because they're the ones who have the cores. Right? 
Oh, look how young this guy is. My vassals are the ones that have the cores. Naples and Castile have the cores. So I want them to do the sieging so I won't have to pay the Diplo points in the peace deal. It's important to me. All right, here we go. We're going to have a surprise for him when he attacks our vassal. We're going to go help the battle. Yeah. Come on, then. Come attack my vassal. He's arriving in five days. Let's slow down to speed three. Oh, 13, 14. Bingo. Yes. And he has a river crossing as well. Oh, yeah. Look at those losses. I love it. Ow. <laughs> He rolled a nine. We're not rolling very well. There's an eight. That helps. Okay. Colony in the Maldives has arrived. Rolling zeros doesn't help. Two zeros in a row. Oh, come on. Why do you got to roll two zeros in a row? That's just fucking embarrassing. All right. Get out of there. Trade ships are finishing. Those build pretty quick, don't they? Oh yeah, we need to colonize St. Helena. I totally forgot about that. I am worried about the Falklands, so we need to get that. We need to start a war with England very soon. And I also need to colonize St. Helena while it's still available. So, can we get uh, an explorer, please? There we go. There you go, sir. Find that. Thank you. Go uh, attack Rusalan. I think that's where he's going to. Russia declared war against Georgia. Uh oh. Oh god, Georgia's getting wrecked. They looked so nice about 10 years ago. Now they just look awful. And Georgia borders, I mean, Russia borders them, so Russia's coming. How many troops does England have? 34,000. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How can you afford 34,000? That's crazy. His economy is just amazing. How goes the cultural conversion down here? Oh, it's done. Portuguese. Yes. What about up here? Can't tell the progress, but he is working on it. Good. That will help calm down all the revolt risk. Hmm. Yeah, I do want to go to war with England. Shit, he has 24 ships. 11 galleys. Oof, brutal. Let's block them in. Losing 9 ducats a month to replenishing this army. Ouch. Try to get our trade fleets back out. Yeah, he stopped in Rusalon. Oh shit, my vassal's attacking Rusalon. Are you fucking retarded? I mean, I know his morale is low, but that's in the mountains. Look at that, he's in the mountains, you idiot. Oh well. Good luck, vassal. You're gonna lose.
There we go. We lost two ships, but he lost three. Damn it. Let's group them up. Why you got attack in the mountains, you stupid vassal? Why? <laughs> Now he's going to retreat all the way to Alicante. How much you want to bet? Uh, but yeah, I, I'm hoping my vassals can handle this war. It looks like they can't. They seem incompetent. Who's this? Venice wants peace. No. Austria is annihilating you. This is a good thing. Gain some navy tradition. Okay. Just destroyed his galleys. Good. Hello. Slaughter him? Nope. He's bounced off. He's running to Alicante. Alright, let's see if we can't squish him. Good luck. Squish? Yes! Okay, now I'm going to leave the battle. I'm going to leave the war. I'm going to let my vassals deal with it. Everyone come up here to Canta Maria. Uh, no, he's actually going to blockade us out here. Hmm. It's kind of an annoyance. Oh god, we're losing 11 ducats to replenishment. Yep, it's all to replenishment. Shit. Oh, he almost caught my transports, but he didn't. <laughs> he got close. All right, we're going to take these guys up to England. We're going to declare war on England. Uh, but we're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time, where we'll steal a colony from England. Uh, we'll also colonize... San oh, shit, I forgot about St. Helena. Shit, <laughs> go dock up in Fernando Po. We'll also colonize uh, St. Helena, and we'll see if we can't steal this from England, and we might go back to war with France to steal these two. In fact, we probably will. Yep, that'll have to be next time. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you then. Have a good day.